Good morning. This is day 35. It is uh, August uh, 8th, I believe, and uh, we stayed at the Country Hearth Inn last night in Willard, Ohio, and uh, this is one of those rare occasions where the hotel is literally on the road I'm walking on, so I'm walking out of the hotel. Jay went back to bed, I hope, and uh, he's going to meet up with me about uh, 8 or 9, and uh, we'll finish out the day and, and come back to the Country Hearth Inn where they are putting us up tonight. And then uh, tomorrow is on to uh, to Lodi, and then and then on to uh, Akron a few days after that. So let's get uh, day 35 rolling. Walking through uh, Greenwich, Ohio, on Sunday morning about uh, eight o'clock. Very very peaceful little town once again. Lots of uh, front porches with chairs, and uh, it seems like. Uh, Addiction is a million miles away, but uh, the reality is, is it could be behind any one of these doors. Okay, the question I'm asking everybody is, uh, has addiction touched your life in any way? No. Not at all. I'm a single dad with three kids. Think about friends, family. Yes. <laughs> tell me. Tell <clears throat> me about it. I had a cousin that was 20 years old that overdosed from heroin. I'd say that's pretty close to home. Yeah, he was a young kid. How did that affect the family? It was terrible. Nobody knew. Guess he was at a party and never did it before, and they gave him too much or whatever. <clears throat> the question I'm asking everybody, and think about this for a minute before you answer, is: Has addiction touched your life in any way? No, I got four kids. I don't have time for anything. But well, my not, kids. No, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about just specifically Mine? you and your kids. I'm talking no. about your friends, yes. family. Yes, friends. Tell me. Um, my friends, they were addicted to pills for a while, and then it was a matter of getting them out of the situation. It was hard, but we did. We took them away. I moved from Michigan to here to get rid of the situation. I'd say that per touched your life pretty for profoundly. She was my best friend. So. My boyfriend had one and I told him it was either me and the kids or him and it's gone. Uh, tell me, has addiction touched your life? Yes. Tell me about it. Ruined it. <laughs> it came from the wrath. I almost lost my children, I lost my home, I ruined a marriage. I've been sober now for almost nine years. Tell me, what, ha what has recovery done for your life? Awesome children back. Honesty is in my life. And you know, it's a grand life God has given to me. We are at the intersection of 224 and 60 in the little town of Ruggles. And uh, that makes about uh, 19 miles for today and about 19 to go tomorrow. So this, uh, this concludes day 35 and we are three days out of Akron and then it's about 100 miles to Pittsburgh and then as far as I can tell about uh, uh, 230 to DC. So we are... Uh, we are on the downhill run a little bit, and it uh, feels pretty good, but today was a beautiful day for walking, not so great a day for the walker. My feet and back are killing me, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting off of the feet and stretching out the back. So, good night from Ruggles, Ohio.